Okay, um, hi guys, this is Kate. Um, for my project, I wanted to highlight a local business in my town, um, but I have COVID at the moment and didn't think it would be appropriate to me or for me to go out and actually like give you guys a tour, so I am drawing it instead, <laughs> if that's okay. Um, but this is the Fairbanks Food Bank. Um, so for this project, I chose um, the sustainability development goal uh, number two, which says no, like solve world hunger. So this is just one organization in my town that uh, is really focused on doing that for the state of Alaska. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. They start, uh, they start with the collection process where they go out to businesses in town that have some excess food. Um, I know they did this with uh, the Starbucks that I worked for. Uh, they do it with like grocery stores that have excess that they don't expect to sell. Um, and then they bring it back to this giant storage facility that was the first picture as well. Um, and there's just like pallets and pallets of food stacked all along the walls here, mostly like pretty non-perishable so lots of cans and like dried food and stuff um, and then there's this really cool process that I've helped out with a bit where volunteers come in from different parts of the community um, my soccer team did it once just like random stuff and they pack the boxes so like thousands of boxes and we fill them with cans and like cereal and I think I have a bag of rice um, just foods that won't go bad for a while um, because, so this is for Alaska, and in my state, like, there's a lot of villages that are pretty inaccessible, there's no roads out to them, and so you have to be able to pack food for people in need that will last for a long time, um, but yeah, so I've helped with that process a bit, which is really neat, and then we'll stack those onto these giant pallets, uh, this is just to kind of show the volume that, uh, is produced I guess by this process and it's totally um, like volunteer run basically it's all donations um, it's really neat to be able to use that excess and then they're loaded onto airplanes and this is not the most accurate drawing but uh, smaller airplanes imagine that uh, shrink a little bit and then they're shipped out to communities and families in need around the state so that we can all have food on our plate at dinner time and breakfast and lunch um yeah thank you